Okay. <clears throat> okay, welcome to day five of getting started on Whistle. Uh, welcome to the Just Flutes YouTube. Please, uh, if you want to find out more stuff about flutes and more whistly stuff, um, subscribe to the Just Flutes YouTube. Head over to my YouTube, Philippe Barnes. Find me on Instagram, Facebook as well. Um, Hopefully you've been with me for the last four lessons. Uh, we've done four really nice tunes and we're going to finish today with a reel. It's a traditional Irish reel called the Mountain Road. I'm going to play it to you a couple of times and then we're going to go through it bit by bit. Um, if you haven't joined us yet before and you don't have a whistle, head to justflutes.com, get yourself a high D whistle or a low D whistle to join in. Um, the sheet music is also available there if you want to see it. I'd recommend not looking at it until after we're done. So if you learn it by ear, then you'll hopefully always remember the tune. Um, you'll internalize it in your muscle memory rather than just that short-term memory you use for sight reading. So this is the mountain road. in this one, we're just starting off with a roll on the F sharp. There's a couple of ways we can do that. <clears throat> we're going to cut above with the G finger and below with the E. Remember they're rhythmic not melodic ornaments. So we're just letting in out the tiniest bit of air when you lift this finger and we're just tapping with the E finger. Good exercise is to space it out across the notes. So you can really hear that you're getting a crisp um, ornament each time. It's not just a, a wave, it's not just a... The other way we can do that, and um, one of the other ways, is just lifting this finger and putting it down as the top the same bottom. I prefer using the left hand for the top of it. It makes it sound a bit more bubbly. Okay. We have our F sharp rolls to start with. We're doing it quite fast in this tune. So the note at the bottom is an F-sharp all the time, and then the note above changes. So F-sharp A, F-sharp B, F-sharp A, F-sharp. Basic version of that, we're going to vary that a little bit later. I should probably now is a good time to say when you're reading a tune written out on the session.org, um, it's a great resource, or in TunePal, it is an app you can use to record someone playing a tune and it will suggest what tune it thinks it is and it will come up with the notation which it's got from uh, the session.org or from another source. Um, those versions, you should see them as a kind of a framework, so it's not exactly how the tune necessarily goes, and lots of different people will have different versions, 
part of the thing of Irish music is playing it differently each time you play it, and taking a breath in a different place, changing your ornaments into different places. So it's um, it's kind of a living thing that you're varying as you go through, uh, similar to kind of Baroque music or Indian classical music. And if you watch this again later, you'll be able to fast forward through the chain. Let's crack on. Second bar of the tune starts with another F sharp roll. You can also leave the roll out there to play a clean F sharp or play a little feathered one. Okay, so next bar, and then it's. Starting on an A. Again. So we're going A, F sharp, E, F sharp, D, E. One more time. sharp roll on, on the front of that. Again, a little bit slower. One more time. Now let's play the first two phrases. Starting from the F sharp and doing that, coming back to the F sharp, and then we'll do that little turnaround phrase. stuff. Good news is the next phrase is the same as the first one. And then we have something different. We break this phrase in half just so we get that ornament starting from the G. G, A, G, F, G. So that A, G is just quick. Da, ba, da, da, da. start that second D with the tongue, with the throat, or we can use our fingers, maybe the first finger of the right hand. So we put that together. One more time. bar three and four together and you get one more time you can slide up into that G if you want I'm pushing the finger forward and up and away Next phrase is the same, well, the next three bars are back to the same as the start of the A part. So let's, let's play the first four bars, so everything we've done so far, and then we'll keep playing and I'll stop at the point where it changes. So all together from the top F sharp to start with.
changes. So we're going A, B, D, E. Take my top finger off the E. And then we go. This real actually, um, it's only eight bars for the A part and eight bars for the B part. So it's a single A and a single B. Normally in a real, the A part would be repeated, the B part would be repeated. This one's just a, a single real. So. C sharp there, you might want to balance the whistle with your little finger at the bottom just to stop it disappearing. again. So it's going completely stepwise except on the way up you're missing out the C sharp. Um, if you remember from the other day we did that thing going from the going into the D and bouncing that G finger we can go before it, starting the F-sharp roll. Maybe on the way down that last scale you want to bounce that E. Let's do those two bars again. So let's move on to the B part. And um, we're starting with a long D, which is arrived at the B part from. So that D, we can either do that little bounce. We can pop a crown in there. Hopefully your crowns will be coming along nicely. Little, this finger first, then this finger. You can later, you can add an extra finger in. Just we do the two for today, so. So the A is on the strong beat again. So I'm kind of going da 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 dum da dum, and then we've got a little D major arpeggio after it. just D, F sharp, A, or uh, 6, 4, 2 if that helps. We'll just keep that D clean. You can use this with this B part, it's a lot of repeated material again. The next bar. It's completely stepwise. It's very similar to the bar we just played, but apart from the first two notes, it's exactly the same. We're starting with D, C sharp. It's not exactly the same at all. Completely leaving it on the garden path. It's very hot in here. Um, Start from a D. We're going D, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E. Halfway through that, I've regretted seeing the pictures. It's all going very well today. Definitely feels like Friday. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, next phrase, 
similar to the first phrase, but stuff moves in a slightly different way. You can tongue that D or you can just uh, tie it to the first one. That's another point where you could add a crayon or something else. I'm doing that just to make it different and actually here's a good place to take a breath. We make that first note short. So just D, D, B. And then we're going to go. So we're doing that same thing but the opposite direction. So A, F sharp, D, F sharp. Put that whole bar together, starting from the D. Again. One more time. Let's play those three bars from the start of the B part. Let's try that again. again D F sharp A at the end E D F sharp A let's put that whole bar together and again one more time try the first four bars of the B part. So we're gradually building this <coughs> section. streets.com website but hopefully you'll try and do it by ear first with me and we'll get near the end of the B part um, so the next bit good news is it's almost exactly the same until we get to the last crotchet note so at the very end we go If you're going back into the A part, maybe you want to stick an E on the end, kept come back into the F sharp. So let's 
try um, the whole B part now, um, and then we'll go back from the beginning, and maybe we'll add in a few extra ornaments. B part starting on a D crown. slowly it's really hard to decide where to breathe in it and that will get easier as we're playing it quicker. So the whole tune now from the beginning. Let's uh, have a little chat through it and see where we might add in some extra stuff. So the very beginning, maybe we want to slide up to that B. So I'm going from the F sharp to the A, but that finger's coming off real quick. Um, maybe we want to smooth that line out a little bit. that next bar, we've got two F sharps next to each other, I didn't talk about how we're going to articulate that F sharp. Let's try sliding up from the E. Then you just, it's like you're dipping the finger across the hole there. Second time through the A there, or like the last half of the A, because it's only a short A. Um, let's spend longer on that F sharp. So let's have a crotchet and a half for that F sharp there. to an F sharp and we pop an E in before it. Maybe when we get to that F sharp at the top we turn it into a roll so we get It's the same roll we did on the F sharp down the octave. It's just up the octave. So if we put that in context.
Um, thanks so much for joining me again. Um, maybe let's, to finish off, just have a play through all the tunes we've done so far. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave, leave them in the comments or Instagram or uh, Facebook. I'm Philippe Barnes on, on both of those things. Um, sheet music is on the Just Groups website. If you don't have a whistle yet, or you're um, definitely a weird point in the video to be if you still don't have a whistle, but if you uh, want advice on upgrading your whistle, um, just uh, get in touch. Um, there's loads more tunes. My website will have a tune book for sale. Uh, there'll be some there'll be some whistle tunes there soon as well. So some more trad tunes. Um, let's have a play through. So the first one was Dodalogue. very much for joining me. Um, if you want to take your whistle studies any further, uh, I do Skype lessons um, or get in touch through Instagram. And um, yeah, thanks very much. See you later.